Good morning, good morning, how are we today? Question of the day, running shoe company of the year and why? Make your case down in the comments, think, pause, hit pause, all right? And if you wanna go road and then if you wanna go trail, I understand if you wanna do a combination, that's fine too, make your case. Why that running shoe company for the company of the year, all right? That's the QD and it's not the year I may have wanted, but it's the year I had, all right? I missed three months. In fact, we're not really gonna do a trail running shoe company of the year. I'll, I'll make some comments on it, but I missed the main chunk, like July, August, September. I just missed it, I, you know, I wasn't running. So I didn't test as many trail running shoes in 2022 as I would have liked, all right? So it is what it is, but I'm gonna share some stats, some numbers with all of you. And I mean, just come on. Uh, actually, the comment of the day, I'll put it on the screen right now. Thank you so, so much, Vernon. Hit pause if you wanna read the entire comment. But at the end of the day, what a year we had. We are so fortunate, so blessed as runners to live in this, in this day and age. Like, listen, I love being a kid of the 90s, but I'm just gonna say like the, sh the running shoes in the 90s were a lot different, all right, compared to what we are running in nowadays. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just holding up shoes at this point. I mean, come on, Rebel V3. Um, oh my goodness, a, a, a Maximalist Plus, a brand new category in 2022. I mean, almost 50 millimeters of midsole foam under step. So I just feel very fortunate to uh, be able to run in shoes that are different, are unique, are even from, I'm even gonna say, seven to eight years ago. Remember the remember the Clifton one, the Hoka Clifton? I feel like that shoe really started the ball, the ball moving forward with respect to higher stack heights. And anyway, times have changed. Here's our eights over here. Glide Ride 3, shall we dive in? Trail shoes, okay? Now for me, again, I wish I could test all the shoes on the market. I can't do that. Uh, but as far as my... As far as running shoe company of the year, what it takes is you, I have to test at least three shoes from that company, at least three shoes, okay? Because there are some sh uh, companies that are getting very high scores, but I only tested one or two shoes from that company. It is what it is because, well, partially because of the injury, partially because I'm just one person. I wish I could run 10,000 miles a year, but not at this point in life. Okay, so here we go. In the trail department, let me just pull up real quick as far as at least three shoes for trail running shoes, Saucony. All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner, Saucony with 7.66. I, I uh, tested four trail running shoes from Saucony, okay? Innovate, second place, shout out to Innovate. Where are they at? Innovate, Innovate, it was right over here. Anyway, Innovate, second place with 7.04 for the average score, and then Hoka, Ultra, and Nike, okay? There you go. Again, wish I could test more. T I wish I could have, I probably would have hit um, I bet I would have gotten in and I did 22 trail shoes. I bet I would have gotten in another 10 probably. So that would have definitely moved some things around in the trail running department. Very cool. And again, these are the final scores and they're being averaged out across the board. Okay. For the uh, particular company. All right, moving on to the roads. Very interesting. I guess I'll just mention really quickly is that, um, well, these shoe companies, okay, Skechers, Puma, Hoka, Ultra, Carhu, Solomon, On, and Mizuno. I didn't test any, I didn't test more than uh, two. I, in fact, one of the companies, a couple of the companies, I only tested one, like Solomon and Mizuno, okay? So, uh, I think, I have a feeling that Skechers and Puma would be in the top five if I would have tested even just one more shoe from that company. Again, I'm only one person, but uh, because of that rule of at least three, oh, they were so close. But I love I love Skechers, price point is on point. Um, I think their build quality is improving. Over the last four years, I have noticed a, a, an increase in their, in their build quality. Not perfect, but getting there. And then I think I even said this a year ago, watch out for Puma. Like I, I just need more shoes. Puma, if you're listening, I'm ready to test more shoes in 2020. 
three. Okay, but at least for three shoes tested, winner, winner, <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner, you know it's coming down the pike. And I don't know if I'm alone in this sentiment on the interwebs, but you know it's happening. It just, uh, I love their midsoles. What can I say? I love a lot of their things, but man, Saucony, winner, winner, chicken dinner, running shoe company of the year on the roads. And uh, I foresee they're going to get and I think, oh yeah, I almost pulled, actually I'll try to find it and put it on the screen right now. I think Saucony was fourth or fifth a year ago. So they're getting better. Now, I'll just say, boom, Kinvara 13 and yes, Triumph 20 coming in at the end of the year, another shoe in the eights. Um, so between those two, the Saucony, you know, even the Run Shield lineup, okay, which is what I use for the 40 mile run, I guess it was yesterday, which by the way, I'm still standing, we're hanging strong here. Um, so Saucony Triumph, Kinvara 13 really helped. Now, um, second place, New Balance, all right, love your New Balance, good work. I'm trying to think, oh yeah, well, the Fresh Foam More V4, and by the way, these are all available down below in the description. Um, and third place, no surprise, Asics, all right? The Noosa coming, coming in hot. Oh man, I can't, Asics, if you're listening, if you're watching, I mean, I, would love, I just can't wait for the 15. I can't wait. Maybe they're gonna skip it, uh, take a year, I, I hope not. Oh my goodness, the Noosa. Basic, actually, I think the Noosa was the highest score. Let me just confirm really quickly. Yes, Noosa Tri 14 is your running shoe of the year as far as the highest score. A tweener, upper is just unbelievable. It's just an unbelievable upper. Love, love, love the Noosa. Maybe not the long run shoe for everybody. That's where the Triumph 20 is coming into play for me. And who can forget the Mach 5? But Hoka was not in the top three because I only test it. And again, that probably comes down to the fact, for example, I'm looking at the Bondi right over there and I, 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 just, I just ran out of real estate, meaning we're turning the page on 22, 2022 and moving into 2023. Unbelievable, Sockety, congratulations. You get the DGR Running Shoe Company of the Year. Question of the day, I already asked it. Comment of the day, I believe I already put it on the screen. It's that simple, everybody. Um, the lattice structure of that Saucony midsole is just something to behold, something special. Now I am a little nervous about the Kinvara 14, right? I've seen some pictures. Uh, hopefully it doesn't change too, too much, but oh my goodness, love, love, love the Triumph 20. And, and, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. A speed three, okay, oh my goodness. And the Pro, th okay, now we're just geeking out. Pro, th I mean, I, I think, <laughs> I, I, okay. <laughs> A lot of people, a lot of people love, love, love the Pro 3. But I did not even score this. I think the Speed 3 got a 7.3 out of 10, which is a good score, but it's not a great score. You know, yeah, so it's not even, it's like, it's not even like the Speed 3 won it for Saucony for me. And they still are, they're just crushing it. Watch out. Oh man, there's some company, very heated. I predict New Balance, Saucony, and Asics are just going to go at it for the next two to three years. Just really hammer it out. And um, I'm a little surprised that Nike's, you know, they're doing fine, but they're just not quite there. And Hoka, like Hoka, Hoka, oh, there's a lot of shit. A lot of shoe companies. All right, I stop, I stop. I'll toss it to last year's Running Shoe Company of the Year vlog right there, right there, right there. Last year's Running Shoe Company of the Year, all right? And again, make your case. I wanna, I wanna read it, all right? Maybe it's Ultra, maybe it's uh, On, maybe it's Adidas. All right, there's no right answer, by the way. There's no right answer. And whatever works best for your gait cycle, and your foot strike, all right? Right there, right there, right there. Okay, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.